Okay, welcome everybody to the meeting of May 16th, 2016. A little after 7 p.m., I apologize. My husband, Lowell traffic went a little slower than we thought. Um, thank you to my colleagues for uh, waiting for me to arrive. Uh, first is the consent agenda for the minutes of meetings, May 4th, 2016, May 9, 2016. Second is a request from the Farmers Market Winery application sale of wine for Lexington Consultant Group doing business as Turtle Creek Winery. Kipton Cumler, P.O. Box 60, Lincoln, Mass, 01773. Third is a special one-day beer and wine license for June 4th, 2016 at the Robbins Woodmore House for a private party, Jessica Fair. Fourth is our request for the annual Greek Festival, June 2nd through June 5th, 2016. Uh, Reverend Nick Castanasis, pastor of the St. Athanasius the Great, 4 Appleton Street. Uh, and that comprises a four-day special, one-day beer and wine license. Uh, se second part is a one-way designation of Appleton Place between Mass Ave and Burton Street. And third is the street closing of Acton Place. And the last item on a consent agenda is a request for the use of the Jefferson Cutter Lawn on May 21st, 2016 for a Jimmy Fund fundraiser. AHS Scoops Club, Shivam <coughs> Rastagi. Move approval. Moved by Mr. Burns, seconded by? Second. Mr. Dunn, uh, is there anyone here to speak to any of these items? Um, any f questions, discussion? If not, motion by Mr. Burns, seconded by Mr. Dunn. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous vote. No, 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 oh. excuse me. Sorry. Um, I have to abstain from the minutes of the meetings uh, because I was traveling, but I support oh. two, three, four, and five. Okay, uh, first I'll take a Motion by Mr. Burns, seconded by Mr. Dunn for the minutes of the meetings May 4th and May 9th, 2016. All those in favor? I, I'm sorry, I have to actually abstain from the 9th as well. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Greeley. <laughs> uh, for, first, if M Mr. Burn agrees, and Mr. Dunn, first a motion of approval for the minutes for May 4th, 2016. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, abstaining. Mr. Greeley. Sorry, I abstain. I but I'm not connected. And then a motion by. It says I'm not connected to the incident. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Your motion is for two, two through five <coughs> approval. We're going to do one, and then we'll do. So then right. uh, again, a motion, Mr. Byrne. So moved. Seconded by. Second. Mr. Dunn, uh, to approve the minutes of May 9, 2016. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. All those abstaining. Abstain. Aye. Abstain. Abstention by Mr. Curo and Mr. Greeley. And so a motion to approve agenda items two through five by so Mr. Burns, seconded by Second. Mr. Dunn. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Unanimous vote. Agenda item six, we have, thankfully, and I'm very happy about this, the uh, appointment of a tree warden. Uh, our town manager, Mr. Chapterlane. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so, as the board knows, uh, starting in FY16, the town budgeted uh, a part-time tree warden position, which was uh, sort of an, an increase in scope and responsibilities from the former stipend position that was associated with the operations manager, the DPW. Uh, and that was really a sign of the, the growing and increased interest in town of um, doing a more uh, sort of robust job of our tree uh, planting plan, putting together our tree planting plan, looking uh, at putting together a tree inventory, organizing our uh, work with the utilities on tree uh, pruning, and overall just uh, enhancing our, our arbor care and tree care in town. So after uh, an extensive search process, uh, the HR Director Karen Malloy and DPW Director Mike Rademacher found a candidate. They're very happy to have me here before recommending for your approval tonight. He's here. Uh, if you want to come up, his name is uh, Tim Lequeve, and I brought him here tonight for the board to ask any questions they might have, and uh, you know, we're very hopeful to be able to bring him aboard. Welcome, Mr. McQueen. Oh, thank you very if much. If you'd like to just. Sure, yeah, just um, my name is Tim McQueen. Um, I'm here because I'm passionate about trees and I'm passionate about people. Um, my philosophy is preserving the past and planting for the future. And um, I'd like to make Arlington the best tree city USA possible. And I'd like to not only preserve, but also enhance the green canopy of Arlington. I grew up here in Arlington, uh, over on 7 Fraser Road, uh, in between. My rack in Summer Street Field. Uh, went to elementary school at PS School. Went to um, junior high at Audison. And I went to Minuteman Tech because I found 
this is for me. This is when I was a young boy, I loved being outside and climbing trees and planting and uh, uh, dealing with plants and flowers and things like this. So uh, here I am. So um, I'm really excited and um, I'd, I'd love to be a part of, um, of Arlington. If it is any questions, I'd be more than happy to uh, answer anything anybody has to say. Mr. Yes, sir. Dunn? No, Mr. Mr. Greeley. Okay, Mr. Greeley and then well, Mr. Dunn. I have some people I don't like. Can you put them up in trees? <laughs> <laughs> no, possibly not. But no, thank you very much. Any, anything's possible. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> I like him. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you names after this meeting. Uh, do you have a favorite tree yourself? I do. Uh, my favorite tree is the sugar maple. Mm -hmm. uh, that sugar maple just tells me New England. Yeah. You know, they're beautiful trees, structurally sound beautiful uh, autumn foliage that we all know. And uh, they create maple syrup. Yeah. And what's better on a Sunday morning than uh, you know, maple syrup on your favorite <laughs> breakfast? Uh, you know, so sugar maple. Thank you. Mr. Dunn. Uh, so I'm curious, have you, I, I, this may be, you may answer, I've not, I haven't learned this yet, or you may answer, oh yeah, I know this back and forwards, I'm just curious. Uh, like uh, public trees and like the process around how those are managed and when they should be, hearings should happen, when they should be taken down and stuff like that. Is that something that you've gotten into before or is that? I have dealt with um, public trees with um, the Lexington uh, street tree. Um, they had a plan to put in sidewalks for elementary schools. So it's my job to go out, look at the trees, inspect them, and um, come up with a plan either to preserve or to remove. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to have sidewalks. It's important to, uh, to be safe, have, a, you know, have the children have someplace safe to walk to school, but also trying to preserve trees that are historic, especially you know, in, in New England. So I had, um, I've had some experience on um, dealing with uh, street trees and evaluations and uh, plans to uh, preserve. And, and so did those result in some tree hearings on some that were contested? And uh, some yes, that? some of them Some of them were contested. You know. All right. Uh, I'm actually really glad to hear that. Because yeah, it, it's, it's good for everybody to, uh, to voice their opinion okay. and uh, come up with the, um, the, the best uh, possible uh, plan. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, that's great. Um, good. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure you're aware, and if you haven't, Mr. Rademacher or the town manager um, will tell you if they haven't already. We recently passed a I think a very pro progressive but workable tree bylaw that um, will involve you in some capacity um, as defined by the town manager and Mr. Rademacher. Um, and from conversations with the town manager, um, he feels you definitely have the strengths um, that you can bring what you need to the table to help implement that and work through, you know, any kinks or any uh, sure, suggestions sure. that need to go forth in the future. The other thing that um, I believe Mr. Chapdelaine touched on um, when we had conversations with him, it one of sort of I don't want to say the tantamount, but in the top echelon, top preferences is uh, something that's really worked for Arlington is the online request answer question center okay and um i went through as we all did your resume curric curriculum vitae and i saw plant id and i don't know if that had to do with informational technology but i'm just wondering in terms of that facet of the job um uh what your thoughts are on since technology is so advanced today um, also taking that on as a, you know, an eighth piece of the pie in terms of um, dealing with online requests and the sure. like. Sure. Yeah, I, I think that's great. Um, everybody's so busy today. So to get online and to have questions about different trees, different uh, species of trees, uh, I think that, that, that that's a great tool to use mm -hmm. and to answer questions and to uh, respond to, to the public. Great. And uh, I know you'll have a lot of work with you'll get a lot of calls or a lot of uh, online requests saying the tree in front of my house is dead. Sure, <laughs> sure. Sometimes it's not necessarily that. Okay. Um, but it seems from your experience and your background, you certainly can sort of work through those muddy waters in terms of working with the homeowner for town-owned trees to go through the proper evaluation and assessment. Sometimes they are dead and sometimes it's, it's a tree trimming. Um, but you seem like you're sort of the people person that can work also work with the DPW and the crews that go out there. Yeah, sure, yeah. I've been um, you know, working in the tree care industry for 23 years, so some people are easy to work with, other clients that are a little bit difficult, but it's just uh, getting an understanding of, of personality, who they are, sitting down, having a conversation with, and coming up with the best plan possible. Great, and I don't think we need a vote on this because this is a town manager. 
No, so the Town Manager Act actually requires a vote of approval from the board. Okay. Oh. Motion oh. by Mr. Burns, seconded by? Second. Me. No. Mr. No. Curo. Uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous vote. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Pleasure meeting everyone. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. And I do want to thank the town manager and the DPW director for their constant, uh, diligent, vigilant efforts um, in terms of getting an appropriate tree warden that really has to cover the whole genre of, of what it is that Arlington has. I like to think we're sort of in the forefront um, with maybe a few other communities, but not many, that um, we're, we're not only getting a well-rounded person, but a well-rounded position in terms of its definition. So I wish you all luck in moving forward with that. Have you met and worked with the tree committee yet? Uh, no, I've met two of the members Spectacular tonight. Spectacular committee. Spectacular. Well, I'm looking forward. I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, agenda item seven, informational technology advisory committee. Uh, Steve, oh, sorry. Stephen Revliak, a term to expire, expire May 20th. 2019. I see. Move approval. Second. <laughs> no, no, we need. No, no, no. Need the speech. Need the speech. Okay. Um, my name is Steve Revelock. I live at 111 Sunnyside Avenue. I've been an Arlington resident since 2007. Uh, I like it here a lot. Um, I'm wanted. I got involved with ITAC. Uh, about a year ago, and it was mostly for the same reasons that I decided to be run for town meeting. Uh, I like the community, and I wanted to do something for it. Um, I've been a software developer, software developer for 16 years. I have a PhD in computer science, so this is one area where I think I might have some um, skills of value. A PhD. Thank you. Um, Mr. Kirill and Mr. Dunn. Thank you. And th thank you, uh, Steve, uh, for uh, stepping up on this. Um, it sounds like you've already been stepping up and attending the meetings uh, up until now. I, I think it's always interesting when, you know, you're obviously very familiar to our board and to town meeting to, to see your resume and some of the, the credentials you bring. It's, uh, it's really fantastic. Well, thank you. I, I particularly like the fact that you worked for 10 years, one of my favorite radio stations, but that's neither here nor <laughs> Just have one one question here. I saw that your um, your your um, graduate one of your graduate projects was building a Mayan translation assistant. Yeah, that. So uh, I just want to know when is the world going to end? <laughs> um, so I, I wasn't involved in the calendaring end of the project. Oh, okay. project. <laughs> so it was uh, it, one of. Um, one of my coworkers at the time told me, well, uh, so that's what you do at school? It sounds like it's a really interesting research project, he, but sarcastically, and I responded that, yes, it was a really good, interesting research project. Um, I mean, for the most part, it was um, you know, basically uh, an image matching and uh, a little bit of digital signal processing kind of stuff. Yeah. Here's, Here's your, I identify a piece of a hieroglyph and now go and find the hieroglyph in your database of hieroglyphs. Fantastic. Well, the serious question though, you've, you've obviously you've been attending the ITAC uh, meetings. You know, in your estimation, what are one or two areas that, that you would really like to uh, work on and, and you know, dig into with the IT? So one of, uh, so last, in the past year, one of the, I guess one of the new things that ITAC did was to uh, take a part in the capital planning process. Yeah. So for the IT related things, uh, there was some extra question and answering and uh, sitting down with department heads to j just kind of make sure that uh, they were, all, all the bases were getting covered and that they weren't, uh, wouldn't be left with a system product, whatnot, that either um, were they underestimated costs, underestimated support, or just wouldn't fulfill their needs. Uh, I thought that was a rather interesting process. Um, in terms of things that the, um, well, at least in terms of town infrastructure, I'd like to learn a little bit more about um, would be the town's use of virtualization um, you know, for you know, town-wide application servers and, and that sort of thing. Um, and also just, it, It'd be, I'd, um, I would also be interested in just, uh, you know, one, one, of my, my, one of my areas of interest is uh, network security. Mm. So um, that, there, there could be, a, there's some, I think, um, room for some work there as well. Thank you. Okay, I don't have, oh, Mr. Dunn? Yeah, 
Um, so also in your resume, Kayak, co-founded mm -hmm. by an Arlington resident. Yes. And so it's always good to point out, you know, the, the, as a member of the startup and VC community in, in Arlington, it's always good to, to toot our horn a little bit about how much we've got. Mm -hmm. But uh, the real, and so one of the first things I did in local government was, um, chain, was show before this, stand there before this board and ask them to disband the data processing advisory board and create the, inter the, the ITAC committee. And that was what An Annie LaCourt and I were partners in crime mm -hmm. in that. And she was also on that side of the microphone okay. back then. So, and one of our, our arguments was that Arlington is filled with really skilled people who can bring some of that expertise in as volunteers. And, and so you are absolutely doing that. And I just wanted to well, say thank, thank you. you very much because that expertise is exactly what we need for as a volunteer. And I really appreciate you doing that. Okay, um, if I, there was Mr. Greerly? Yeah, I was undecided until I read this. Finally, I've done the usual set of things that you'd expect employee number nine at a startup company to do. Firewall configuration, Linux administration, babysitting a variety of network services, and occasionally emptying the dishwasher. This is my man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I don't have it written down. I apologize. Did someone make a motion to approve? I did way too early, I think. People oh, oh, stop Steve in his Mr. tracks. I have Mr. Greeley and seconded by Mr. Dunn, so that must be that. Um, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous vote. Thank you. Thank so you so you. much. Thank you. And, and I apologize. There was something I was going by my Novus agenda, and I should have looked at everything I had in front of me. We had one other item for the consent agenda. Um, and I see we have our economic development planner here, Mr. Fields, Mr. Ted Fields. It's a temporary sign at the Jefferson Cutter House. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Mr. What is it? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to pull him up. Moved oh. by Mr. Caro. Mr. Fields, if you could come up and. Hi, Ted Fields, economic development planner. So this is uh, the, you have a text before you. It's a temporary sign that will go in front of the Jefferson Cutter House as a condition for receiving a $65,000 grant from the Mass Historic Commission uh, for um, helping us with the exterior renovations that you see um, as you drive by, putting on a new roof, uh, removing uh, rotted siding and putting in new siding, um, restoring the windows and replacing them and repainting the uh, exterior. Can you just flip that we again? Don't we, do, that. we don't have the sign. Oh, okay. There's <coughs> copies right here. Oh, what's in the packet? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's actually. It's in the uh, well, it's it's a second uh, in the second meeting that's scheduled for tonight. In there actually is a on, it is online in there. But yeah, it's like oh. it's created as a separate meeting, not attached to this meeting. Okay. First, there's a motion by Mr. Kiro. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Dunn. Any questions, Mr. Dunn? Uh, how long does it stay up? Uh, it's supposed to stay up for the duration of the construction. Usually, they stay up a little bit longer, maybe two to three, four weeks more. So overall, but it probably it'll be gone by July. Thank you. Um, any further questions? If not, on a motion by Mr. Kiro, seconded by Mr. Dunn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, unanimous vote. Um, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Field. Sorry, I, I should have taken you at the beginning. I just, uh, then. Um, Correspondence received is sort of two-part. Uh, first, I would, uh, before we get to correspondence received that we have uh, in our paper form as well as our Novus agenda, we do have a uh, memo from our comptroller, Mr. Visquet, uh, dated May 16, 2016, um, when my colleagues, uh, which they may have already, have a chance to review that. If they would like me, um, along with Mr. Visquet, to uh, make this an agenda item or get any further information, whether it's an agenda item or written form, uh, please let me know. Uh, and then, so moving to cor correspondence received, which is a, one piece of correspondence regarding a dangerous dog hearing request. Well, did you want to comment on Mr. Visquet's letter? I mean, well, because when I was chairman, you spoke to me about this issue. Uh, Mr. Gurley? But uh, I just want to say it's fine with me. I don't know that we need to make it unless you want it to be, uh, Madam No, it, it just where he said if, if um, we wanted him in to discuss this or had any questions to please let him know, I just wanted to highlight to my colleagues' attention that um, that was there. And unless I hear from somebody, I won't take any further okay. action on this. And okay. if people 
haven't, as Mr. Gurley has already spoken to uh, Comptroller, Ms. Fiscay, feel free to do and let me know if there's anything else. Well, I meant while I was chairman, the issue of the employee was out sick and mm -hmm. him having to uh, need to replace temporarily, so okay. anyhow. So as of right now, I won't be doing anything unless I hear something different. Uh, correspondence received. Is there a motion to receive? So moved. Moved by Mr. Burns, seconded by? Um, second. Mr. Dunn. Uh, yeah. Mr. Well, Gurley. Uh, this seems like a pretty serious issue, this dog attack which occurred. I, w I wonder, should we ask our animal control officer or should we just call for a hearing? Mr. Heim, Attorney Heim. <coughs> So the board's uh, relatively recent practice, it's been a little while since we've had a dangerous dog hearing, is to refer for the initial hearing to the police department to hear the complaint and preside over it and issue a decision. Um, if that decision is uh, appealed, it can come before the board. Obviously the board can directly take um, the matter up itself if it so desires, uh, but it's important to get a, a written complaint to the board so that it can be if you so choose, refer to the police department for a dangerous dog hearing. So move we refer this to the police. Motion by Mr. Greeley, second is second. by Mr. Kiro. And this is a written complaint, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Mr. Greeley, and if I, if I may, uh, the animal control officer is aware of this situation and has been, uh, I believe, in touch with the complainant and has already uh, begun an investigation that will help make sure that a hearing is promptly uh, conducted uh, now that the board has received a complaint and has referred it. Okay. Okay, uh, first on the motion by Mr. Greeley uh, to refer to the police chief through our town manager. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? And only because I wrote it down, the motion to move receipt correspondence by Mr. Carroll, seconded by Mr. Dunn. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous vote. We will now go down to town. I move that we recess and to town meeting, which will hopefully adjourn tonight and if it doesn't we will uh, recess again until Wednesday night for town meeting motion by mr. Dunn to go recess down to town meeting seconded by second mr. Byrne any discussion all those in favor say aye aye, aye. all those opposed unanimous vote thank you